Hi everybody, this is City Readings and hi Libra. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Okay, so let's see what messages want to show up for Libra. Hmm, Seven of Pentacles, oh my goodness. Also stick around until the end of the reading because I will be giving you your guided message. To me, it looks like you got tired of something, okay? You got tired of something, a person or a particular situation. Lately, things have been seeming heavy for you energetically. You've been going through ups and downs, endings and new beginnings, okay? Um, I'm hearing intense changes, intense changes. Ace of Swords. Libra, I'm also going to be linking your 2023 soulmate reading in the description box, so do have a look at it, okay? Yeah, Libra, something recently came to an end, a particular situation, okay? There's a cycle here that's coming to an end. I do feel like for a lot of you, you're, you're right now going through this phase of awareness, you're realizing things, but again, <clears throat> I kind of feel like you still have this person on your mind, okay? Um, a lot of you have been in this energy where you're looking to expand, you're looking to, I don't know, make better changes in your life or create new opportunities for yourself. <clears throat> Some of you may also be thinking about starting a new stream of income or something like that, okay? Um, yeah, I do get that for a lot of you right now. You're going through a phase where you're reconsidering things. There's this energy of endings and new beginnings. And there's also something here about shared resources, okay? Partnerships. Look out for some form of a news regarding money, okay? Um, but let's see. Your challenge, King of Cups. Something is weighing heavy on your heart, Libra, okay? It is weighing really, really heavy on your heart. Some of you may be walking away from a relationship or closing doors on a relationship, but you're still very much showing me this energy that I'm in love with this person or I'm still wanting to go back perhaps, okay? But I wish things were different for me to go back. So... It does look like you're feeling burdened, you're feeling exhausted, okay? And <clears throat> I'm also getting here an energy of you being very busy in your life, like you could be handling something in your life, handling something legal, then work, family, things like that. A lot of you have, um, you know, responsibilities that you're looking after, okay? Yeah, something here recently came to an end, Libra. And the thing here is that some of you feel like there's a person who didn't realize your worth when you were there with them, okay? So that could also be the reason for you walking away was because you felt like that person was not really realizing your worth or you didn't feel very valued in that situation. So you decided to leave, okay? Um, I'm also getting here that there may be somebody who is spying on you or like somebody could be watching you okay <clears throat> but i feel like whoever this person is things between you and them kind of seem all over the place ten of swords and the ten of wands together it's it's clearly talking about some form of an ending okay and to me it looks like you were not really wanting for this to come to an end or you were not really maybe even anticipating that it would happen but it did okay who is this page of swords six of cups um libra this is somebody you know the lovers the knight of swords 
<clears throat> there's a person from the past who may have something to say to you, okay? And with the Knight of Swords and the Lovers, I'm kind of getting that their energy is very rushed. So it's almost like somebody could be rushing in towards you or to communicate with you, to talk to you, okay? For a lot of you, I'm also getting that... Hmm... I feel like something happened between you two in the past out of the blue. Something came into light or something happened. Maybe there was like you guys suddenly fell apart. This, sorry, the situation fell apart or I don't know. Like there's something here about sudden endings and new beginnings. So not in regards to the connection, but generally in your life as well. Okay. Whoever this person is, Libra, they still want you. And with the Knight of Swords energy, I'm getting that they have something to say to you. But we will see what that is. And with the Page of Swords, they may be spying on your socials or they may be looking at your photos. And whoever this is, Libra, this person, this person finds you very attractive, okay? They may not tell you that right off the bat, but this person like finds you very, very attractive. Let's see. Show me more, please, for Libra. Chariot, Justice, High Priestess. So some of you may be dealing with a Cancer, a Gemini, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. So Libra, for a lot of you, what I'm getting here is that you're focused on yourself. And with the High Priestess, Justice, and the Chariot, there's something here about... Mm, karmic justice okay it's almost like the the cycle or like something tough is coming to an end for you okay you may be feeling very drawn to to move towards something or to start something perhaps okay some of you could also be learning something new i'm really getting an energy here of you being drawn towards something and spirit is saying that if you do feel that then you know follow that direction especially if you've been feeling stuck and confused oh my god can i please pick up that card okay <laughs> with the hangman energy here you know you've been feeling stuck but again you know with the hangman there's also like this energy of illumination or your perspective being changed in regards to something so right now you're going through a phase in your life where yes something may be seeming tough heavy to deal with but it's also giving you a sense of direction and perspective okay um <clears throat> it's almost like that energy of shifting your mindset from glass half empty to half full okay um i'm also getting very intuitive messages maybe coming through okay um like you may see some signs and you know you may see repeated numbers and if you're seeing that do let me know what number you're seeing but it's like there's some form of like divine intervention here or you feeling pulled to do something, okay? Uh, I'm hearing the whale is being taken off. The whale is being taken off. So that could mean that something is being revealed to you. Some of you may also become very spiritually in tune, okay? Because look at this row here. You have chariot, justice, high priestess, lovers all together. Then you have empress, hierophant there. So there's a lot of major arcana energy with the world card too. And I'm, I'm seeing here, Libra, that the changes that you're manifesting in your life, they're significant. They're big, okay? And there's like you changing your sense of direction, What is, um, okay, why is Libra's challenge the King of Cups? Ten of Pentacles. This is in regards to a relationship or a long-term commitment. For some of you, it could also be about marriage or somebody you've known for a long time. It ended up in disappointment, hurt, sadness. Look at this combination. Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Seven of Cups. For some of you, this disappointment was caused due to somebody having a third-party situation or just too much confusion. Okay. So your challenge here has something to do with a relationship that you may still feel attached to. 
um, you're having a hard time letting go of this completely, even though like I feel like you are trying your best, somehow you're still feeling attached to this person and I can clearly see that bond between you and them because of the six of cups and the lovers being together in your reading. I'm seeing here that this relationship could very well be spiritual, okay? You guys could be telepathically connected to one another, Libra, okay? Six of Wands, there's some form of victory or success coming your way. Um, <clears throat> okay, you could achieve... Um, it's, it's like some of you are getting in the spotlight because of your work, okay? Or an opportunity may present itself or your work could get appreciated. Six of Wands is generally a card of appreciation and victory, okay? Show me what opportunities may be coming in for Libra. What opportunities may be coming in for Libra? Nine of Wands. Um, I feel like Spirit is telling you to take a break, <laughs> okay? Especially if energetically you're feeling very tired because oftentimes when we are trying, we, when we are tired of trying too hard, we get into this Nine of Wands kind of an energy. So Spirit is saying you need to figure out what is tiring you, what is something that may not be serving you anymore, okay? Something perhaps needs to go. Five of Cups. Mm, this is a time for you to let go of some form of pain, sadness, hurt from the past. Five of Cups oftentimes can also be an energy of what could have been, you know? Maybe this is something unconscious, like you're not consciously thinking about it, but, but it just comes to mind. The Moon and the Star card. I feel like you're moving forward. I heard... I have no clue. I have no clue. So somebody here feels like they have no clue what's happening in their life, what they're supposed to do, how they're supposed to make things better. So some of you may be feeling very confused or you may be feeling a little bit all over the place when it comes to where things are going in your life. But the moon card suggests that, you know, there may be confusion, but it's temporary. With the star card, again, six of wands, star, fool, a lot of these cards are suggesting you moving towards um, some form of a new beginning, some form of a new start, okay? If you want more details about the person you're connecting with Libra, check out the extended link in the description box below. We will see how is the person feeling about you? Uh, what are their future actions? What do you need to know about them? And general messages from Spirit, like what can you expect? Expe expect, sorry, what can you expect? what blessings may be coming your way and things like that. So do have a look at the extended link below. I will also be linking your 2023 soulmate reading in the description box below. Okay. All right. Show me what I need to see for Libra, please. We have anxiety. Number 18 could be significant for you or number one or eight or number nine. You're anxious about something. You're stressed about something these days. Some of you may even have a disturbed sleep pattern. Okay, we have walking away. Some of you are anxious about walking away from something. But it's. I feel like it's the initial anxiety when, you know, the first step that we take is the hardest. Okay. But at times you do have to walk away because you need to make space for the new. And I see a dragonfly here. So something is being illuminated as you walk away. That only you will realize when you do walk away, you know. Deceit. Some of you, oh my goodness, some of you are very anxious or you like you you're in disbelief that there's somebody who deceived you who you didn't really expect that they were gonna do this to you. 
I do feel like you, you know, right now you're in that energy where you're letting go of your attachment to this person or this situation, but you still like, you, you, you feel like you want to go back. I don't know if it was deceit in love or otherwise in your life from somebody else. But, you know, this is the phase here where I'm, I'm getting an energy of you releasing yourself from something that confines you. Some of you were also pretending that you like somebody and I feel like it's a friend. I'm not talking about a love situation. It's like, you know, when we say yes to somebody, like deep down inside, we're like, I really don't like this person. So some of you were saying yes to a person you didn't want to be with. Okay, so this is a time where I see you letting go of your attachment and walking away. Wait, so your guided message here has something to do with waiting. You know, wait and then make a decision. Don't rush into things. And a lot of signs are, by the way, getting a similar message where, you know, it's like Spirit is saying you shouldn't rush into something. Okay, give me one more card for Libra. not the right time mm, if you are thinking about making a decision if you're thinking about investing money or taking some form of a big step forward then you may need to wait okay um, and give things some time maybe you wait and then the situation gets resolved on its own and it turns out that uh, the hurdle was placed in your way for a reason okay Someone has a crush on you. Somebody has a crush on you, Libra. Let's see. soulmates there's no doubt that i was getting an energy of a soulmate from you and your past person okay there's a very strong attraction and a strong bond that i was getting is that is there between you and somebody okay don't don't take things so personal, Libra, because I feel like right now you're in an energy where you're trying to free yourself from something, but at times you just don't know if you're doing the right thing, you know? Is there any advice for Libra? Is there any advice for Libra? Three of Pentacles reverse. I'm hearing the disaster being avoided. Okay, some of you like don't get too pushy when it comes to something about money, work, um, negotiation, or some form of uh, a contract. Like if there is something you were gonna do and it gets like blocked or like you, you feel like there's a hurdle, then don't do it, okay? Your advice here has something to do with not trying to get get on the same page with somebody where you can see red flags anyway there's lack of harmony and balance in a particular relationship in a particular situation and i feel like you can feel it that's why it the mess i feel like this is something about money some of you have been thinking about making an investment or like something here about real estate maybe you need to wait okay that's it like i that is the message i was getting again and again okay that's about it libra those were the messages that showed up for you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended linked in the description box below if you're interested also check out your soulmate reading in the description box below take care and bye bye